Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. This was supposed to be an unboxing. I purchased four bags. I actually purchased five. One didn't show up today, but I was going to unbox the other four to just show you what I bought. And then I would do a video on each bag individually after I became familiar with it. But it is so torrential raining outside. I couldn't do an unboxing because this is the boxes. They were saturated. Fortunately, uh, two of the boxes had uh, plastic wrap around the bags. The other two, fortunately, were a little thicker and did not penetrate the inside the bag, inside the box rather. So everything is in good shape. <coughs> so, excuse me. So I thought I should just show you the bags, show you what I got, and another one is on the way. I'll do that when that comes. And I am ecstatic. And all these bags are vintage, and I bought them on third-party uh, sites, not through Coach. And I got very good prices, so let me show you what I got. The first bag I got is, this is the Maggie. This is the smallest of the duffels. It's real small. I have the dimensions I could show you. I could tell you about that. It comes with a long strap which is the perfect length for me. I'll give you a close-up look at it before I go into the details. This bag uh, was made in 1997 in the United States. This leather is very soft, very, very soft. The bottom is supposed to have, uh, they said it has wear, but it's really insignificant. There's hardly anything at all. It looks, it looks a little, uh, you know, like it's not brand new, but it looks, it doesn't look like it has much wear at all. It's in great condition. This is black. The hardware is brass, and there are four adjustments, four or five adjustments, one, three, four. Four adjustments. This is a zipper. This is the inside. Really, really clean. The leather is really soft and buttery. Really, and it's a great size for me. I have a big, a big one. I wasn't looking for a big one. I was w looking for one that I could throw on and be very comfortable. And this is actually a crossbody. You could actually adjust it to make it a longer shoulder if you want, but I don't like to carry bags that way. I am, I am just loving it. I hope you could see it. I'm going to push the camera back just a bit so I could get a little better in focus. I hope this helps. I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, especially since it's not brand, brand new. Um, the worry factor is is reduced, definitely reduced. Usually with brand new bags, I'm really nervous until I get a, some kind of a mark on it and then I'm comfortable. With this, I am I'm going to be comfortable. It's going to be used often. So I bought this and then I bought another one from the same person. Thank you, Carol. I'm very happy with it. I love it, thank you. And I bought this one I was debating with. I walked away after I purchased this. After I ever purchased the black, I walked away and I thought about it and thought about it and I came back and bought it because it's white and I'm a little nervous when it comes to white, but it is so gorgeous. The thing about this is, is this is brand new. This is vintage, also made in 1997 in the United States. 
but it has never been used. And that is what was the drawing factor to me because I'm a little nervous to wear a white bag. But I, will, I think I'm gonna just get a pair of white jeans and this way I don't have to worry about jeans uh, with the color transfer. And, and also you can make the strap a little shorter so it will not even fall on your pants, it'll just fall on your top and not even touch your pants. Look at this inside. My God, that is so immaculate. Here's the creed. It is, this is stunning, stunning. There's the zipper. The base. The, the leather is really buttery, really nice. The strap, the, the underside of the strap, that's what the inside is too. This is unlined. This is, the inside is the natural suede from the hide. And I'm really, really happy. I have all the dimensions. I'll be happy to tell you that quickly because I don't want to go into too much detail because I'm going to be doing a video on it. But this has a, a pocket in the back. And this is the Creed. And that is the only thing in here. There is no zip, zip pocket here. Just, just the creed in the back on both of these. I love them. I, I just couldn't walk away from this one. This one was a little more expensive, but it was brand new, brand new, brand new vintage. This is my second bag that is brand new vintage. My other one is a red Janus. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. I'm very ecstatic, very happy with what I got. Good. So, so what do you think? I think our road is underwater. Okay, I was asking them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Beautiful. The bag's nice, too. Thanks. You like a white? Yeah. Isn't, isn't it pretty? It's nice, yeah. This I, both of these I got from the same person. Her name is Carol. Thank you so much, Carol. I love them and I will take good care of them just like you did. Thank you. Then I bought two bags from another person. And I bought it, this bag, I bought based on the recommendation of another fellow YouTuber and her channel is called vintage coach collector and she highly recommended the Sonoma bag and that's what I bought the Sonoma bag is bags are generally made in Italy the vintage and it's it's Italian pebble Ital Italian vintage pebble leather and this is some beautiful piece of leather oh yeah it is thick and beautiful And I have the information for this. I think this was made in 99. I have to check. This is the bottom. There's zero wear on this. This, it took me a little while to figure it out after I took it out of the box. How do I carry this? This is multiple ways you could carry it. It could be a crossbody. It could be a shoulder bag, or you could adjust the strap to different, different lengths and different ways of carrying it. I thought I was going to use this as a shoulder bag, but I, th as a crossbody rather, but I think I like it as a, as a shoulder bag better for me. It goes back like this and stays how I like to carry it. It is so roomy. It has a big pocket here with a snap. And it's deep. Look, my whole hand, past my hand goes down in there. And one 
just like it on the other side without a snap. And you see that lining inside? It's a stripe lining. That is how all of these, the Sonoma bags come with this lining. This is the inside. It's also a snap closure. It has lots of straps to navigate around. And this is a small one. I don't know if you could see too well in here. When I do the actual video on it, I will, I will use a flashlight. But it's stripes. It's a striped uh, silky fabric. And the creed is on the back as well as a zipper pocket over here. And this is the front. That's how you could tell the back from the front. Well, you could wear it, carry it any way you want to carry it, but Coach always puts the zippered pocket on the back. Just look at this leather. Isn't this really, really awesome? It's very, very pebbled. This isn't black, by the way. This is chocolate. It comes with this. It comes with this. This is vintage too. It has the same pebbling. And this is how you adjust it. And I have to actually figure out how to do that. And I want to bring out another point to this. I bought this from. Um, I bought this from Michelle, and her. The name of her shop is. She her shops on Etsy. And the name of it is The Purple Cocoon. I believe that's correct. And she provided the dust bag. And she also gave me a lint cleaner, a, one of those things that take off lint. And on both the bags I bought from her, I got this which is a certificate of authenticity. This is the real deal. One for each of them with a picture of what I bought, a complete description of it. I'll tell you what year it is. It is, it was born in, where was it born in? 1996 in Italy. Yeah, Michelle. The bags I bought from you are beautiful. Thank you so much. Very classy. Very, very classy. If you were in New York, I would say class act, but I don't. Some people might take that as derogatory, but it's actually one of the best compliments you could get. I love the bag. Thank you. And this was not expensive at all. I love this. And last but not least, this bag is my favorite style. However, I waited a really long time. I was visit, visiting this bag on the website every day and looking at it and looking at it because the bag looks absolutely perfect. The only thing I didn't think I liked was the hardware because the hardware is nickel. And I don't wear, I don't even have anything that color. I wear all my hardware, all my jewelry, which is my wedding band, I never take my wedding band off, it's gold. And um, I would hesitant because of, the, uh, because of the nickel hardware. But oh my God, oh my God, stunning. This is the Vintage Rambler and it's in the color dark gray. And it's absolutely breathtakingly perfect every way. Look at that. Look at this bag. Look at the leather. So smooth. And this was made in, let me check, I think it's 1997. I'm not sure. I wrote it down here. It is 1999, vintage in 1999, from 1990. It was born in 1999, so that would make it 23 years old. I love it. This is the inside. 
immaculate. Look at the big middle center and the gray lining. And over here is a front center, which is still in, inside the bed with a big pocket over there. Not a center, a, a, a front section. The main section with a slip pocket over here. And the adjustments on each side. The, the hardware, as I said, is nickel. Everything was cleaned and polished and just, just gorgeous. So smooth. And ah, oh, I am in love with this piece. Oh, it has a back pocket as well. Deep, my whole hand goes in there. This is my very favorite style, the Rambler. Here's how it looks on me. happy with this really happy with this I I thought the color wouldn't work I thought the color was just when they said dark gray I thought it was just a faded black I thought this the hardware would not look good it looks sharp I was a hundred percent wrong and I'm so glad I bought this bed I mean this is my this is my at this time it's my favorite bag I love it I just love it so thank you for watching me. I thank you for, oh, by the way, I do have a, a letter of authenticity for that there as well, with a picture of it. And this was born in 1999 and made in Costa Rica. Class, right? Absolute class. Thank you, thank you, Michelle, thank you, Carol for selling me your things. I love everything I bought from both of you. And thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. And I look forward to the next video. And I'll see you then. And I'll talk to you in the comments. Take good care, everybody. And stay, stay well. I love you. Bye. Hi, everybody. I'm back again. I just want you to say, if you're buying vintage bags, you must get them authenticated before you buy them, or unless you're able to return it, then you could authenticate it afterwards. But you must get them to make sure that it's an authentic coach bag. And the reason I say this is because I did get one that was not that was not authentic. So save your money, save you know, don't get anything that's not authentic, and buy the real deal. And I absolutely recommend that you guys go to. A, a, a Facebook group and the title of it is called Coach Counterfeits and they authenticate there for you. They don't, it's free, it's a service that they give their members. You have to become a member of the group and you associate with other people who are doing the same thing as you and checking out their bags and they are the greatest and they are just awesome. So I highly recommend that you go to Coach Counterfeits, become a member, and make sure that you get everything that you're going to buy that's, that's vintage, authenticated at that, at that location. Also, they have another site, and I highly recommend that, and that site is called Vintage Coach Cult. And that is people who buy and sell and are interested in vintage bags it's a discussion group where they discuss vintage bags, what's available, they show what they bought, they, they share things that they themselves are passing on and are, show, are offering to you guys, and sometimes they offer, the, the members, the other members offer things at discounts, 
So I highly recommend both those sites. And I want to also recommend a, a, um, YouTube, uh, a YouTube channel. And that is um, by a, another girl that I know, Michelle. And, her, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> I'm choking. And her YouTube channel is called uh, Birdie Bloom. B-I-R-D-Y-B-L-O-O-M, and she is, I believe she's a moderator on the groups that I just mentioned, and she is very knowledgeable, and she shows you what to look for, and she also shows you things that she has, and I believe she sells some as well. So those three sites, the one on, face, on Facebook, two Facebook groups, and the one on um, <laughs> YouTube is one one YouTuber who I'm recommending f right now and of course I always recommend the um, the coach the vintage coach collector her her site is extremely extremely informative and I she's a YouTube a YouTuber also and I recommend you highly that you highly go and uh, subscribe to her channel as well because if you're inter interested in vintage coach that is the place to be definitely definitely so thanks a lot i just didn't want to go away without telling you that i should have mentioned it but i forgot so let me say goodbye again i love you guys and i will see you in the next video take good care bye everybody